guys welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create this simple and beautiful threaded flange in solid work so it is good example for the beginners who want to learn solid work so here we create this simple threaded flange in solid work so look the animation view of this uh, flange so here we are uh, make the animation to this this flanges make it uh, uh, animation and uh, make it uh, explode explode and import to original position so look how we create this one in the last video i will show you how to uh, create animation for this threaded flange so here we are uh, now it's time to uh, let me create this design so we select new and here we select part then ok now uh, front uh, we entered and make it uh, plain white now select the front plane right click sketch now here we select the circle and make the circle up to here now go to the smart dimension and uh, make the circle dia 75 ok now exit this sketch and extrude this one up to 8 mm so make it uh, 8 mm ok <coughs> now here we select this face right click sketch normal and make it normal <coughs> now select the circle and create uh, one circle here go to the smart dimension and select this circle and make it uh, 35 dia so make it 35 ok now again go to the feature select extruded boss base and extrude this one 18 mm so select this one and make it 18 mm ok now here we are create extruded sketch now again select this uh, face of circle and now create one circle more so select this point and make the circle up to here go to the smart dimension and make this circle 20 0.5 diameter so it is uh, basically used for threaded we cut this portion for the threaded pur purpose ok now here we should cut through all and make the condition both sides ok now here it's time to apply the material so here we apply material now again go to the chamfer and make the chamfer 0.5 and select this face ok now again go select this one this and make the here we is time to select this face normal and here we are uh, select line and uh, make the line up to here make sure it is vertical now go to the smart dimension and make it uh, 28 mm length will be 28 mm ok now again select the circle and make the circle up to here and uh, make sure it uh, diameter will be uh, 6.5 dia and here we are uh, create the uh, circular pattern of uh, 5 numbers so here we uh, go to the pattern circular pattern so click on it and uh, we make the pattern of 5 ok now go to the features and select the extruded cut so here we are uh, cut this portion select and ok now again uh, go to the fillet and here we make the fillet of 3 mm and select this edge ok here we are uh, create the fillet again we are uh, go to the uh, thread feature now go to the whole wizard and select the thread feature and here it will ask thread location so simply select this uh, edge so select this outer edge <coughs> again we uh, select the metric die and here we apply the threaded of uh, m22 into and make sure the pitch will be 1.5 and here we select cut, cut thread so it will cut this portion so look how we cut this uh, part 
and uh, changes into thread thread part again go to the chamfer and select the chamfer 1 mm and select all the circular uh, smaller circular cutout so select this one and uh, it will be apply both side so here it's better to select this uh, circular face so chamfer will be added to this one again uh, go to the chamfer and here we make the chamfer of uh, outside portion 1 mm and uh, sorry not all we apply 0.5 and angle will be 45 degree so here create this one now we save this part so go to the file and uh, we uh, save we make create uh, one folder and here we save this part mm. now we make this uh, main body so we click and make uh, the name main body then save now again go to the new and here we uh, it's time to select assembly okay here we create assembly now change the background to plain white so make sure it is a plain white here we are uh, insert this uh, uh, threaded flange now insert this one and here we are uh, change the background plain white so look now make it uh, normal import the second part and make it rotate so select this one and face and drag the mouse so it will be rotated according to this position <coughs> now go to the mate and uh, it will ask face so we select first this uh, outer circular face and select this second one and make the relation co-centric ok now here we uh, assemble this uh, part in uh, assembly and make the relation co-centric so here we can pan to move according to your uh, choice here we want to keep this one so it will be select so look how we create this uh, threaded flange and uh, in the last we will see the animation for this uh, threaded flange basically we saw at the first uh, starting of this video so here uh, we make this uh, threaded flange so I hope you will enjoy this tutorial here we are make the animation and it will work so look it will be exploded from its position and now it will comes back to their original position so look how we do this I hope you like it Please subscribe our channel for more video and project. Thanks for watching.